Are you stuck and struggling to learning how to track your website when visitors come to your website and you want to track the progress? Are you just confused because let's say you just purchase a number of clicks from an opportunity like a solo ad and you're not really tracking it properly. You're not understanding if this is a good service or not because you don't really have data. You don't have information in terms of tracking your business. Well, I'm going to introduce you to a program called Click Magic, a basic training of tracking your website. My name is Adam Shelton and welcome to today's training video today. And if you haven't yet, hit that red subscribe button right below this video and don't forget to hit that notification bell when I do videos just like this. Now, you know what time it is and it's that time to go ahead and dive into this training basic training of click magic which is an easy way of tracking your website by the clicks the percentages and much much more but today we're just going to just focus on just tracking your one link so right below this video here i do have a 14 day free trial for click magic so you can click on that link right below the video right below the video sign up and enjoy and go ahead and look at click magic to see if it's for you because I really believe that this click magic is for you, especially if you have a business and you just want to track your progress in your business. So it's important to track everything you're doing in your business, especially online. So when you first sign up, you'll go ahead and create your own account, which is your name, address, phone, uh, no phone number. So your basic information, your name, ad address, and your email address. So since I've already did that already, let's go ahead and log in so you also have to create your username and your passwords basic information really really basic so let's go ahead and log in right here and the next thing you want to do is click on links you want to click on links so we're going to click on links there because we want to create just one link and track that one link so let me move my page here a little bit my little picture and then we want to click on create a new link you can always click on the need help button the need help buttons is information there that designed for you if you get stuck on anything that you're trying to do but we're going to keep this really basic and the next thing you want to make sure this is basic highlight the basic we want to go ahead the link group is a way of grouping all your links together so if you have multiple business opportunities or multiple different types of website and addresses you actually can put a link group name and pretty much organize all those links together but you don't have to worry about a link group in this instruction here because we're just going to keep it very very simple we're going to keep it really really simple so don't worry about the link group we're going to keep this testing so we're just going to just keep this really really simple the link name is going to be something that verifies what your website's about and where or where you got the clicks from so let's say you purchase clicks which is advertising of people of coming into your website and they're clicking on your link to purchase something to sign up for something to view something so you want to track those clicks so let's say i purchase advertising from a company from a solo ad or facebook ad so if i bought some clicks from a person i can just say daniel I say the person name is daniel isn't that advertising i'm buying clicks from his business or his advertising I'll put his name here. I put in 300. Let's say I bought 300 clicks from his advertising business, right? Daniel, 300 clicks. And maybe I put the date here, right? Just to highlight it. Or I put the date on when the service will begin. So I can even put tomorrow's date. Let's say it begins tomorrow. Something basic. You don't have to do it like that, but the link name is something can verify exactly you know where the advertising is coming from and something basic you can just go back and reference to the, your company not your company but your customer will not see the link name only you'll see the link name is something you can just basic you can actually track it to yourself the tracking link is something where it's at the end of your actual url your tracking link here so this is basic this would be your username that you go ahead and create for yourself so it'll always be this your username unless you have multiple you can actually set up a custom domain you can do that by clicking here but remember this is just basic just just use this here and at the end here i can just say daniel 300 three, daniel 300 clicks or something 
something basic. You can just do something like that, or you can just put, you, you actually can leave this blank because it'll automatically program some information there for you. So you don't have to actually put anything in here. If you want to, this is just a little bit extra. You can click on this question mark for any information about your tracking link slug. That's what they call it, call it a slug. And then here is where you'll put your URL, your website, your um, your information that you want to put it in there. So I let's go ahead and let me get a website. I'll just take something from, I'll just take a website from here. I'm going to copy, paste this. I'm just going to borrow this and I'm going to paste it, right? So this is the website I'm promoting where I eventually want my customers, my prospects to go to, but I'm not going to give them this link here. So I'm not going to give them this. I'm going to give them the actually tracking link itself. So let me recap. Here's basic. First, I click on links. Make sure this is basic. I'm not worrying about a link group. You can set up a link group by clicking on this question mark if you want to link them together. This is a testing. That's why it just says testing here. The link name is the name that reference where I'm purchasing the advertising from. So you can keep it really simple, 300 clicks, the date. You don't even have to have the date. Just keep it simple. Because remember, you are the one is referring what that link name is. Your customer prospect will not see that. The tracking link is basically a tracking link slug, which is right here. You can leave this blank or you can put information here that represent this and your primary URL, which is your actually website that you're promoting, that you want people to view, to, to sign up on your website, purchase your product, any of those information there. The next thing here is just create link. Now, this here here is basically just additional information here. You can click on that as well. That pretty much will help this part here if you got questions. So this kind of this is another tool to click there as well. So this will let you know there. And then create link. Create link creates the link. So I'm going to go and find out where that is. And it is it's going to be in testing. Yes, right here. Daniel. So right here, Daniel, 300 clicks, 04, 2020. Testing. And then here's the link name. Remember, you don't have to have a link group, but I just put it in it anyway. Here's everything we created. You use this. This is your advertising tracking link. So this is where you're going to be advertising. Don't use this here. You'll use this here. So this is your track link for people who can track. That way you can track your actually link. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Because right now it's zero, zero, zero across the board. And what those means is total clicks, unique clicks, flat clicks, and action and action conversion rate. So that's the percentage of people actually clicking on the link and signing up on your website. If you got a, um, a landing page, if you have a signing form, they you can actually track if they click on that and actually go through the progress. So right now it's zero because we just clicked here. Now I can go here and preview the link. You can preview the link by clicking right there. This makes a copy of the link so you can actually copy to the clipboard. And of course the question mark here is more information about pre previewing your link. So I'm gonna click right here to preview the link. When I preview the link, this is what comes up. This is exactly what the website is about. Now if I click here and I put my name, let's go put, I'm gonna put testing. And let's we'll make an example here. Same information. So I've already clicked there. It says a uh, different address. Let me let me use a different one. Testing. Uh, testing. One, two, three, four. Five, four. Just using an example here. This, this is just an example. You cannot subscribe to the list with the email address. Okay. Huh. You know what I'm gonna do is uh going to use this email here that should let me go through okay so now I went through already so let me go back to the um, the actually link here I'll refresh my page and then now you see 100 right because I've got one action so I got an email address from my business here that's what the action is this is actually unique click 
and this is the total click you want to make sure these are these are um that's filled with information the flag click or bot clicks they're not real clicks so those are the clicks is not going to be included in your unique clicks you want to unique clicks are real clicks those are the real clicks that's people there that has a real email address they're really there to really really interested in what you're saying and this is going to be bring up the total of these two right here your flat clicks are not real clicks they're bot clicks or people who are really not as serious you know so you want to they flag it out so click magic takes out the those bad links bad email addresses that's what it'll be the flag and the action is actually going to be exactly what it means the action where i put my name and email address in there there's an action percentage of 100 because only this one email address that i enter so it's a good way of actually of tracking your link now another thing you can do is uh one more last thing on making this really really basic here are some stats that you can actually break down so you can go to um, daily breakdown you can go to traffic quality so it actually tells you the quality so that's 100 percent quality and it's tier one clicks which is us clicks this is a little bit more advanced but i want to show you this actually information and stats that's right there as well so i just want to show you the fact that that is a basic tracking link one link and then remember we preview the link it went right to this page here and then right here just the customer will click yes enter the information in there when they do that it's going to actually add in information right here which is really really cool so that is the information i have for you in terms of tracking your website very very basic very very easy Remember, click on the link below this video for you can go ahead and sign up for your 14-day free trial. I really believe you really enjoy this because it's a good way of just tracking your links because you want people, when it comes to your website, you want to make sure that it's actually a good service, especially if you purchase those clicks, purchase that advertising. You want to make sure that advertising is really good as well. So this is basic. Click on the link below to sign up for your 14 day, 14 day free trial. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel for more information, training tips, tricks, or growing your business, growing your mindset online each and every single day. My name is Adam Shelton, and I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to click on the link below for your 14 day free trial, and I'll see you on the next video.